I'm going to die. Thirteen stories opened back in 1971 was the tallest structure in Hayward just up until about 15 seconds ago. That, that was about that 10 seconds. A lot faster uh, than 714. And uh, Christian, I know they said what they were going to do was blow one side and just let... see it. It took just a matter of seconds for crews to demolish an historic Cal State East Bay University building this morning. We brought it to you live at uh, about 9 o'clock this morning. They demolished Warren Hall on the uh, Hayward campus because it was ruled seismically vulnerable as it sits just a half mile from the Hayward Fault. His grandfather helped bring then Cal State Hayward here. If you talk to a lot of people who came to Cal State or who grew up in the area. It's a real icon. It was until boom. <laughs> but Warren Hall had to go. It was the worst earthquake hazard in the Cal State system. I wasn't expecting it to be so spectacular. Hayward native Nicole Leah did not know about the building's danger. I hot photography, quite dramatic, show Cal State East Bay's 13-story Warren Hall turned into a pile of rubble. ABC 7 News reporter Kira Clapper tells us how scientists plan to use the implosion to understand how the Bay Area is affected by earthquakes. Warren Hall, so the view of the Bay can be enjoyed for generations to come. In Hayward, Kira Clapper, ABC 7 News. Subcontractors will have 40 days to clean all that rubble. Much of it, it will be repurposed as building materials. A park will replace Warren Hall so people can enjoy the view from the hills. Construction on the new administration building is set to begin this fall. Oh.